I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious brew of coffee using a classic mocha pot. This is what I do every single morning to make my morning cappuccino. So stick around, let's get to it. My mocha pot is a Bialetti mocha pot. It's made in Italy and the way you start it off is by adding some hot water to the water basin. You want to fill it up up until right below that valve. Some people like to fill it until the middle, but I definitely don't recommend that. Then you get some nice mocha coffee grounds, not espresso grounds because those will be a little bit too thin, and you fill up the coffee basket. You want to make a nice little bump without getting any on the edges. Just like that. Now I swapped out the classic Bialetti filter for an ENB Labs filter. The reason is, is because it has much smaller holes, which helps create much more pressure. Smaller holes in the filter mean a more even water flow, which results in a brew that's smoother and much more flavorful. And the ENB Labs one comes with a silicone gasket instead of the rubber. I screw on the cover. Be careful, the base is hot. If you're a coffee connoisseur or just enjoy a delicious cup of coffee, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll actually be able to taste the difference. So I get that in the base and I get it on the preheated stove with the lid opened. Now I have a minute or two, so I'm going to prep my milk. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up. I really wasn't in the mood to take out a pot and start heating up the milk like that. I know I did something wrong, but I put it in the microwave just to heat up that milk. As soon as the coffee started to extract, I kept an eye on it and right before it starts to sputter out of control, I take it off the heat and I put the base under cold water to stop the brew. Turn that heat off and we're left with a delicious, delicious smelling brew that's perfectly extracted. You won't end up having that bitter taste that you will have if you leave it for too long. And now let's have a taste. Smooth, delicious. Mm -hmm.